I'm back. Jack. Did y'all stop fucking with your boy? Mm. Smoking cigarettes and drinking wine. Well. Uh, thanks, brother. Blue baby. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we back on, man. I had to get my thing together. Technical difficulties over here in SoCal, Southern California. First question, man. How y'all like that video? Was it cool? Shot that shit with my iPhone. Slick Nick helped me out. She get the credits for director of photography. You dig? We gonna have this whole independent game lays down in a minute. I see you, Esquire, in the building. Capone Bone, long time, nigga. Mama Pete, good man. That's right, Rosie Cass. Okay, so talk to me, man. I done, I done released, uh, let me see, Dead Man Walking, Dead or Alive, Stay Real, uh, what else is it I released? Stay Real, Through It All, and I'm missing one. Uh, dead man walking, dead or alive, through it all, stay real. Oh, and Heat Check, you know what I mean? And Blackout is another song that's a, a, a bonus song. Blackout might be a bonus song, but we use Jay-Z beat on there, so, you know, can't really do nothing with that, but give y'all a good song to listen to. You know what I mean? So that's five songs off the record. What y'all feeling about those? If y'all seen them all, how y'all feel about that heat check? Brandy Fontaine. What's up, my friend? New Zealand. All right, Christopher B. I see you vibing with me right now. All right, Saron Collins. All bangers. Chaos Bone. All right. Just to let y'all know that stay real. I'm reshooting that. If y'all notice, it ain't had no B-roll in there. I did that on purpose because I really couldn't deliver what I wanted to, but I was in the process of moving fast and making sure that I tried to catch y'all attention for this release. Put some work in on this album, man. You know what I'm saying? Dead or Alive. All right, Trio 301 TV, I appreciate that. Shout out to the Philippines. What time is it over there? Um, do it all fire. If y'all don't know, position wasn't in that video, but that's him on the hook. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my nigga position, the life entertainment for always blessing me. Talk about this little set list right quick. Rob, if you watch it, man, email me that set list right quick. Because I'm on my phone. Couldn't do it from the computer. Hit me at Yahoo. Mm. 
mind of a soldier release and feel me Michael Williams Jr. what it do man Tawanda what's up sis Phoenix, Arizona in the house. I appreciate that, man. Cheers to y'all. I'm on the countdown. What's today? Monday. Four more days till the album come out. On the third, this Friday. This Friday is going down. Wanted dead or alive. As soon as my, my main man sent me this little set list i mean album list there it is track list i'm gonna talk about it so this album right here man it tell like a little story you got the intro all together is 18 full songs including the intro so it's 19 19 on there with the intro Intro, Wanted Dead or Alive. That's featuring Ebony Burks and Willie Ray. Willie Ray Serious on the hook. Back to Life. That's me. Killer Instinct with Crazy Bone, Flesh and Bone, and myself. Dead Man Walking. That's with me. Dice, Paul Zero, and Esquire One. Then Game Time, I got Flesh and Bone and Dame Dollar, Damon Lillard from the Portland Air, uh, Trailblazers. He did a verse on there for me. Uh, the Plug, that's all me right there. Uh, it's all right. That's with me and Esquire One. That's a dope ass feel good song too. You know what I'm saying? That's one of them ones that touch your heart. Amazing. It's truly amazing. Shout out BJ. Oh, amazing. That's me, my son. Jeremy, my son Steve, Jeremy on the verse and uh, Steve on the Don on the verse and Stevie Jr. do the chorus line on that one. And holler when you see me, that's me position and my nigga Oside Graham. Titles is self-explanatory, holler when you see me. Heat check, that's me, my son J House and my little brother Stu D's. Insomnia, that's me right there. I got insomnia. I'm up all night, up all night. Uh, Stay Real, that's me and HC The Chemist. Going back to back on that thing. Y'all seen that uh, pre-video. Stir It Up, that's definitely gonna be a single. That's with me, Dice, and HC the chemist. Uh, I like to smoke. Got original Mo Thug, OG Ken Dog on that motherfucker. Stu D's on that motherfucker. And of course me. Been through it all. That's position singing the hook. And um, myself, Dice, and uh, Stu D's. And then gone in a week. That's with me and Ken Dog. So uh, that's the 19 song set list. I got all my fam bam on here, man. And I'm feeling good about it. Okay, Celine, you was at the concert. July 3rd is the date. Producers, let me see who all the producers are. I did some production on here, finally. Uh, HC The Chemist, Rob Parker, my nigga Eugene on the sounds. 
Got like three songs on here. So Eugene did I Like to Smoke. Eugene did, uh, what else Eugene do? Oh, he did Game Time. Uh, Gene did some other fly shit, man. Oh, Through It All, the song y'all just seen the video for. So Eugene on the sound got three tracks. Uh, Gone in the Week. I'm just going to say H.C. The Chemist and um, Rob Parker because I don't know. Them niggas work together so much, I don't know if they did it by themselves or together, a collaboration. All I know is teamwork make the dream work. They did One and Dead or Alive, and Rob Parker, H.C. The Chemist. Back to Life, my nigga Oside Blaze did that. Uh, Killer Instinct, produced by me. Resolution, that was H.C. The Chemist, I believe. And probably Rob Parker. Sharing all you make y'all. Y'all got to share y'all credit, nigga. Just for now. Uh, my man Felix did amazing with me and my boys. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. Serrano, you watching? Chop, it. Chop me in, man. What's my nigga name that did uh, It's All Right? Uh, no, Sam mixed it. <laughs> Sam, I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rob got beats, dear. It's all right. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of Esquire partners. He got some dope shit. Y'all need to follow him on Instagram. Follow all my people, man. Because we all got some shit coming out. Uh, Heat check. That's Rob. <coughs> that's everybody, man. That's four, five of us. They did production on the album. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm finna deliver what I feel like is my East 1999 Eternal. My chronic. Name a, name a uh, artist classic album. This mine's on the solo side. You did. Trill Entertainment, man. I got you, man. Savage. I see you, man. And anybody out there that I probably owe a feature to, man, just know that I'm about to get you all y'all shit. And it's going to be well worth the wait because... A nigga finna ring some bells. So the more bells y'all help me ring, the louder it's gonna be when y'all drop the release with, with me on it. And y'all releases, cause they gonna know that we out here active and I'm out here supporting my young niggas that's trying to get it. So think of this shit like a chess move. My shit come out, we do numbers. Your shit come out. Eyeballs everywhere. That's the name of the game, eyeballs. We need to get these eyeballs up. We all independent out here, so push my line so I can push your line. <laughs> That's how it work out here. Oh, yeah, geez. This motherfucker is delicious. And it's cold, too. And this is even more delicious. The world order was the shit. Yeah, I heard a, a, a YouTube channel called Beyond the Harmony. I don't work that. I don't know who worked that, but, you know, hopefully it's positive and, um, it's a fan that's going to support what a nigga doing right now. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Motherfucker said they was going to support me on the, uh, Annihilation. I ain't get that much support. Maybe it was whack. I don't know. 
I doubt it. Uh, niggas said they was going to support me on Lost and Found. And since I didn't get the support that I felt like I should have got, I went in the studio and went extra motherfucking harder. You dig? Undeniable music. So I'm hoping y'all dig this shit right here. You know what I mean? Okay, you talking about casting, you talking about uh, the definition and the meaning. I'm that fly. <coughs> nah, bro, unfortunately, I don't have Fee on this album. She had other endeavors. But I did manage to get the kids on here. I appreciate that, Crystal. 79th and Superior, Rashid Lewis, what it do, man? Heard they shutting the city back down. They doing that shit everywhere. Staying quiet on all that, uh, everything that's going on into in the world until y'all hear this song i got called resolution and say we need a resolution i said what's that <laughs> if popo kill another nigga bust back it ain't no constitution for us blacks we want to be equal as a people just facts you know what i'm saying navajo nation Don King, what it do? Hey, nigga, you already know. My nigga Rashid talking about 79, nigga. You know, we used to go down there on Sawinski and get that good-ass green, boy. Straight to Sawinski, they give me a sack, a sack, a sack, a sack, a sack. And they never knew what we was talking about, but right there, Sawinski from St. Clair all the way down to Superior. Boy, that was the days, nigga. Them was the days. Take me back. <clears throat> to Young Lay. Don't get it twisted. I'm forever young, though. So, uh, I really want to know Anything anybody want to know from me? Mansfield, what's up, man? Mansfield in the building. Yep, Dead Man Walking is on the uh, new album. And that's the thing about uh, Pac Big and Easy, who would be an artist that you would like to work with that you never worked with. Man, I want to work with niggas like Dr. Dre, man. I want to work with niggas like Kanye West. I want to work with niggas like T.I. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like that nigga Meek Mill, you know what I'm saying? I like, it's a lot of niggas out here. I, I really, really, I really like a lot of shit out that's going on out here. Ken Dog on three songs, four songs, man. Ken Dog new album coming out up under Harmony House Entertainment. He back in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, man. I know I know it'd be something when the button. Trust me, we all doing what we gotta do right now, man. You know what I'm saying? The solo vibe is the solo vibe, but the Lord gonna order our steps when it's time for another Bone record. And I truly believe in my heart that it's a uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony ain't done yet. All five live, you know what I mean? Like, I still keep the faith. I always push, I always push for that. You know what I'm saying? 
Flesh and Bone, excuse me, y'all. Flesh and Bone dropped his album, Do You. My favorite song on that motherfucker, boy. I'm already famous. But indeed, do look for not only just a Bone Thugs and Harmony album, man. The movie need to be told and all that shit. Definitely, we gonna hook back up with Swizz Beats. It's just that chemistry. We got a chemistry with Swizz. Okay, Paranormal Research TV. Cincinnati in the house. Much love from Texas. Y'all be safe in Texas, man. Take that shit serious. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, so I need y'all to snatch my album cover. Put it up on your IG Live. The same one, I mean, on, up on your IG, on your, uh, what they call that shit? Your, uh, your, your main tag picture or whatever the fuck they call it. Yeah, Texas out of control. They doing their thing. See, they all, Texas always do what they want to do. They don't fuck around. Hey, you know what? I hope we can get something with DJ Unique, too. I'm going to try to bring it back all the way 100-fold, man. Like, I believe, you know what I'm saying? If anybody that, that really, really follow us, y'all know my stands in Bone Thugs and Harmony. I always want to see it. But if the time got to be right, and God got to put his hands on it because we ain't going to halfway do nothing. We tried that a couple times and the shit didn't stick like it was supposed to. Because I don't think y'all fickle. I think y'all just want the real shit. You dig? Hmm. I don't know, man. What about Powder P? I, I ain't heard from Powder P in a long time, man. You know what I mean? But I I wish him well. I hope he doing good. I wish we could perform that, that ghetto cowboy in its entirety one day. Three oh five Miami. So, uh, what else going on? Just probably tell y'all about my book of poetry. I'm, I write poetry and shit like that. So, for all y'all readers out there, people that's in the poetry at least, I got something for y'all. I'm also heavily endeavored into this, this lazy gear right now, which right now I'm just selling merchandise, but the object of that is for me to sell pajamas, quilts, everything they got to do with lay your ass down and go to sleep and just be comfortable and be lazy. I'm selling it. For the women, I got the lingerie. Lingerie. Not lingerie, lingerie. So you and your people can get together. You and your significant other can put on some lazy gear, chill, Netflix, and watch a movie and shit and undress each other and redress each other and address each other. Well... The Bone Thug movie, man, that's, uh, we don't have a date on that shit yet, bro. That shit is, uh, definitely in the making. The script and all that, the, uh, the whole premise of the movie's been together, so. It's just about finding the right deal 
And I believe our story deserve the big screen, you feel me? We got so many sub stories to our story. The true events of Crazy Bone, penitentiary he went to in Flesh and Bone, penitentiary and crazy shooting, uh, wish and me being shot in the head and Brian being busy being kidnapped and all these different things and elements that brought us together in life. I'm gonna go inside. It's, fuck, it's fucking getting cold out here, man. Plus my weed gone. What y'all in here doing? Ma? You on the phone? No, I'm watching you. Oh, you is? <laughs> oh, you see you? Uh-oh, let me move. Uh-oh. Afro! Ooh-wee. <laughs> Do something with that Afro lady. No, not really a, not really a three-hour movie. Excuse me, y'all. Not really a three-hour movie, but, uh... It def it it definitely could be cut. It definitely could be uh, broke down into part one, part two, and part three. It's a it's a series, you dig? Shit, niggas live extra niggas live extraordinary lives and shit, man. We could tell each one of our individual stories and then tell the bone story. Shit like that. The meeting of easy. I don't know what that means. Crazy bomb is the realest, the illest, the most chillest. Okay. These messages going up fast. So, uh, I know this ain't a lot, but it's 177 people on here watching let me see everybody send a nigga some fire if y'all gonna buy my shit on the first day i feel like i'm batting five out the gate i gave y'all five songs i gave y'all five songs before the album dropped what y'all think about that shit Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Show a nigga. Get me excited around this bitch. I'm, I'm on my independent shit. They always talking about what a nigga can't do. Probably your favorite rapper, favorite rapper, you dig? You got to talk fly to these little young niggas and old niggas. If they would have had a class in school about talking fly shit, I would have never got nothing wrong. Flying colors. And you and Crazy Bone Brothers. No, nah, me and Flesh and Bone Brothers. Me and Crazy Bone. We partners in rhyme, you dig? We we went from we went from partners in rhyme to partners in I mean partners in crime to partners in rhyme. So since we got a uh, hey, lazy, I want to need. Take care of Queen, please. Keep it. I'm telling you, my cheese. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You know, life get complicated sometimes, man. And sometimes you just gotta press forward and do what the fuck you gotta do because it's the best benefit for the cause. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out here trying to keep it alive. 
Sound dropping out is the, is the sound out now. If you can hear me, let me know. I'm gonna stop moving. I'm gonna stop moving around. Can you hear me now? Okay, I can hear you. That's your phone, Esquire. Your shit over there. You in that studio. You still in the big studio. You probably in the wrong place. So, uh... Peace, life from the crib. What's one of y'all, uh... Favorite L Burner songs around this motherfucker. What's up with Poetic Hustlers? Last time I was in Cleveland, I talked to my nigga Mohart. And um, he's still trying to do his thing. Hopefully I can put together a Mo Thug tour one day. Uh, Tony Tone, he's a, he's a pastor now. And Boogie Nike, you know, he's still thug to the core for real. As the rain, one of my favorite too. Let me tell y'all a story about Thug by Nature. So I believe my record would have did a lot better, but it was a battle between me and the record label about what songs to go with. I, th I believe all my songs is good, but I think if I would have came out the gate with uh, Thug, with, um, not Thug, Thug by nature, um, as the rain. If I would have came out the gate with as the rain, I think it would have caught more attention than coming out with make my day. I ain't want to do that video in that snow, but that was the politics a nigga had to deal with. But you know. Nonetheless, y'all got the album. <laughs> Punch him in the mouth. You know about that song? Yep, Thug by Nature. I should have did a video to that one too, but like I said, it was politics. As you can see right now, I'm doing what the fuck I want to do. I'm dropping videos that don't, don't even got a storyline to them because I shot them myself. Resurrection is, that's Craig, uh, I mean Greg. Resurrection is one of my favorite albums and shit, but nah, I don't know. I can't have a favorite album. That's for y'all to decide. You know what I mean? Hanging out with Easy E. Let me tell you, man, just that was some truly amazing shit. It still feel like a dream because the short time that we did know him, we met him at the end of 93. And March 95, he was dead. So from that little window of time right there, that's as much time as we got to spend with him. So it was, it's, it's, it was all a dream. You feel me? We was uh, fortunate enough that he pushed his album back and put his, and put ours out. Cause had he not did that, then y'all wouldn't have heard a bone. And not at that time anyway. Yeah, that shit true, man. Clog up your mind. Yeah, easy E, man. I'm just saying, just imagine your, imagine this. You from Cleveland, Ohio. You actually take a one-way bus ticket to 
an unknown territory 3,000 miles away from home, Los Angeles, right after the riots, and you go out there and you actually meet Easy e to the point where you come from a Greyhound bus and having food stamps and marijuana and no money on you to Easy e pulling up on you in the 600 bins every day talking about let's go to the studio. Then once you get in the car, say I got shotgun, I would look to my left and be like, this is easy motherfucking E driving this motherfucking car. God damn. Like nigga, we made it. And we ain't had shit at that time. Oh, but Kimberly. And that's what people think, though. People think it was an overnight sensation. Shit, we was grinding 12 years before we met Easy e We put in work for our shit, for real. Talent shows, my nigga K Chill, the Band-Aid Boys, performing at Shaw Talent, uh, Shaw High School Talent Show. Yup, dropping faces of death performing at the Glenville Recreation Center. I mean, not the Recreation Center, but the Glenville Fest. Uh, man, just doing talent shows around the city, period. To getting with, with uh, Kermit up there at Dow's Rapid Creation. <clears throat> no, I... I mean, if you want to get on tape and rap, mommy, you know, if you want to rap to the world, I'm pretty sure they might want to hear you. I was actually clearing my throat, ma. You know, I do that shit sometime. I've been smoking for years. Ooh, boy. Yeah, that nigga said, hell sent. Can you imagine taking that song home? Being 16. You know what I mean? J Bone still coming out that backyard. DSE TV. DM me. Hell sent for sure. I'm just trying to see what else can I chop it up with y'all on around this motherfucker. Something that's uplifting. Staying away from them goddamn politics right now. Because that's all this shit is about. You know what? Me and Cray need to do an album, man. We, I'm amazed that me and Crazy Bone haven't done an album. I know we got that one song, uh, it's a thug nation, oh, what a nation, no, you can't stop me. Lazy and crazy, forever paper chasing, real T-H-U-G. You've been waiting for a true rider, here it is up under your nose. Thought I would stop the book with clothes. <laughs> Nigga got raps for years. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, let me tell you all about Havoc, man. So I got this young group of five. These guys go by the name of Havoc. I won't individualize them right now, but the group name is Havoc. And these niggas got flavor, like how Bone had. Everybody got their own shit to put into the pot, to stir it up like gumbo and make that shit dope, you feel me? Shout out to Havoc, man. They knew the Harmony House right now, but them boys is working hard. Somebody said, what's up with Master P? What's up with Master P? I love Master P. That nigga is a trailblazing trendsetter. Mmm, the nine, the nine. All that nigga, that nigga is a genius. 
Bun B. I got music with Bun B out there. Me, Bun B, Crazy Bone, and Kane. Uh, what's the name of that song? I'll think of it in a minute. Big Ups Havoc, yep. 216. It's going fast because they showing love up in this piece. I hope they uh sipping. Suckers, I'm sipping and tipping. Mmm. Bone and Devin the Dude. Somebody hit Devin the Dude a thousand times. Tell him I'm looking for him. What motivated me to go so hard on the new album? Like I was saying, I was feeling like I wasn't getting the support that uh, I thought I deserved on the first couple albums I dropped last year. But not only that, I felt like I could do better too. You know what I'm saying? I felt like if I took my time and waited for the right chemistry to come around to make the songs, then I felt like then I could uh I could show fans, my fans really what it what it is about what I really what I wanted to portray. This song is an album for the times, man. I went hard because to be quite frank, I ain't had no goddamn choice, man. You know what I mean? I felt like I gotta grab the attention of my fans right now and because if I can't get them to support me now, like, why would I keep dropping album after album after album after album? My goal was to give them, give all my family something that they could feel proud of, that they would want to go tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we did that. You know what I'm saying? Especially as... Esquire One, you know, even how we came together, tell y'all about Esquire One, he's a real attorney and he's an advocate for the rights of artists. You know what I'm saying? He's also an artist on Harmony House and, and assuming, about to assume, hopefully, the presidential uh, seat in um, Harmony House. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, we looking to do things a lot different on the independent level and build Harmony House Entertainment up to not just doing music and putting records out for people, but handling handling publishing and, you know what I'm saying, being able to put out this music, I mean, these movies and these books and everything they got to do with entertainment is what we want to specialize in. And y'all will see that in our mission statement when it's time for that, you know what I mean? Flesh new album is out, man. Go get that thing, all right? It's called Do You, the whole album. And uh, you can download that on any platform. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're trying to get at Harmony House, man, uh, Send us some material. We got the website, HarmonyHouseNT.com. Uh, we could be reached at HouseManagement at gmail.com. House, you spell it H-O-W-S-C, not H-O-U-S-C, player. It's H-O-W-S-C. House Management. Uh, the direction I'm trying to go with Harmony House is really I'm trying to diversify, man. I'm not trying to be stuck in one genre. You know what I mean? I'm trying to hit whatever genre of music. Maybe we can create our own genre. We have no roof at Harmony House. We blew the roof off that motherfucker a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So basically if it's country, if it's dope, if we could market it and promote it, if we feel like we got a market for it, then that's what we gonna do. Uh, hip hop, R&B. I feel like that R&B need to be heard more often because 
that shit feel good in the nigga heart. Um, just all all music. It is there is no box for Harmony House. You know what I'm saying? You, I want the most eccentric motherfuckers I can find. How I feel about Motown? Oh, now we talking. Hey, nigga, Motown. I grew up off Motown. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? They built the genre of music, but at the same time, to have that many successful acts to become that major from a minor, that's the type of goals I'm setting for myself. You say, right, right. Brandy Wine, long time. Rest in peace, Johnny P, man. Al Green and Lazy, I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Yeah, you know, y'all, you know you got some eccentric shit in you too, nigga. You know, we all got our little tweaks. That's what make us artists like that. What's my favorite book? Now y'all starting to kick it with me. I like that shit right there. Well, let me think about that. Um, my favorite book? Hmm, let me see. I've been drinking, so I can't think of the, uh... Damn, I'm tripping. My favorite book is called, so, it's called As a Man Thinketh. <laughs> As a man thinketh, so shall he be, or some shit like that. Around. It might get a little dark, but I'm turning the lights on up in this motherfucker, man. Oh, that was a brain fart, y'all. <laughs> My favorite book by James Allen is called As a Man Thinketh. Because I could read that book a thousand times and it bring clarity to me and it always give me inspiration to keep going no matter what the fuck is going on out here, you dig? As a Man Think of by James Allen. It's a good read. It's a small book too. It's about a hundred something pages. And um it's fucking dope, man. It's it's, it's, uh, it's, it's motivational. And you got to know how to read, too. Because it ain't no easy, easy read. Can you grab my, um, grab my computer right there? Hey, go yeah, cut this light on around here. Smile for me. Would you just smile? For me, let's. Mm -mm. Got a thing for you. Uh oh, my! Don't start that over there. Don't even do it. For y'all that don't know. My mother is known to steal the show. <laughs> that nigga is something else. Truly. I got a question for y'all. Y'all think I should po I should post up the uh the track listing of the album? Hit that fire, hit that fire.
So I probably should post up that track listing, huh? Maybe. All right, Mom, I had to give you a job for a minute. Where Jeremy at? Jeremy, Jeremy is recording his album in his car. <laughs> My little nigga is something truly else. Hold that for me and don't say nothing I wouldn't say. Hello, people. How y'all doing? Don't look at my hair. This is Corona bullshit, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get it together. Yes, y'all. Yes, yes. Ma, I said don't say nothing I wouldn't say, Ma. <laughs> What's up, people? How y'all doing? I hope everybody's blessed and being safe. Hello, because it ain't no game. Just a thug thing, okay? Yep, yep. I'm just holding the phone, people. I can't say too much because I get drunk every time. <laughs> we, I love you, people. Thank y'all. You know, I bless y'all and I respect. The fact that you love my babies, because you know I got two in the game. Mm. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm about to pass the one. You know, I'll try to get out of here fast as I can. <laughs> yes, indeed. Sing All right, song. here's my baby back. Everybody be safe. Sing them a song, Mom. I gotta find my back. Oh, really? Did they, they asked me to sing y'all song. No, I, I asked. Yeah. <laughs> My baby say, sing you a song, mommy. Time, like... What am I going to sing? <clears throat> okay, mm -hmm. wait a minute. I'm going to do something. Surely. No, don't do that one. That's your uncle Mike. Mm -mm. I, just, I just type one in sing here. Sing soft, too, so they can hear you. Okay. It's an everyday thing because I live my... Hey, I'm still that sucker. I'm, I'm still that thugster. It's an everyday thing with your legend that's hang. I'm trying to sing some of theirs, but they go too damn fast for me. Anyway. It's not that nine is where we. Mm. Um, I can't think of it. Mm. You done put me on the spot. Ain't right. nothing coming to my head. But I love you guys. Uh, Y'all think about it. Okay. Y'all done made my mama freeze up. Ooh, wait, look at that. Now, if we was at a show, you would try to snatch the mic, mom. Because that's a different kind of thing. Yes, sir. I got one. Oh, no, it's too late now, lady. No, it ain't. It ain't never too late for me. It's too late now, lady. Shit, I need four bars. Of what? What I want to say. Well, what you going to sing? It's all about my babies. Sometimes they drive me crazy. So what am I to do with these few? But I got many. I love you all, you're plenty. Yes, I do. Hey, hey, yeah. I love my babies all around the world. I need my babies. They make my world. Go round, round and round and round. I love my babies every day and always. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> He's talking about that was all right. That shit was dope. <laughs> That's how a nigga be kicking it with his mom, huh? What'd you say? I don't care what they say about it. They go to the mic and hit it, right? They say you got a voice like Jill Scott. Oh, y'all ain't even heard her hit the range on y'all niggas' mind. So now you understand that this shit come from the soul. You said what? You love me? I love you too. Hey, man, all I can say is present your shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all excuse that little uh, mama pee pause, but I had to, it's too, too much information, but uh, I had to piss. Ooh, can y'all hear a little some of my poetry? I gotta read that shit, I don't got that by heart. But I believe if I can get online. Um, or I did. What's my favorite bone album? I don't have a favorite bone album. And why is that? Because I've been a part of the creative process of all of them. And I don't believe it's for me to judge. I believe it's for y'all to judge. You know, or critique or uh, criticize or however you choose your verbiage. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Man, the message is coming fast. I can't read that shit. Alright, um said I was gonna spend an hour with y'all and I did. But uh I kick it a little while longer. Let me look, see if I can find this this poetry. I don't mind reading it if I can. I got so much shit, man. It'd be hard to locate shit, Johnny, on the spot. Okay, uh, um, ancient vehicle. I'm going to go to my Gmail right quick. Um, y'all out there, y'all still with me, man? Somebody called my bluff on something. I want to see if I can oblige that. Sometimes I need a lifeline. Oh, shit. Um, where the fuck can I go? To find you at. Right here.
Oh. I couldn't even think what I was calling my book. For the one that was talking about the poetry, my book is called Invisible Ink. So, uh, let me glance over this one time. Ooh, that ancient vehicle is deep. Impressions, that's a simple one. Gold moments, that's, a, oof. Oh, man. Invisible ink. I ain't even gonna front. This shit be making me nervous, man. <laughs> Nigga be like, read your poetry. Mm. If I froze up like you did over there, ma. Let me read this shit right quick. Yeah. They gotta go from my line. Yeah, blues, that's my shit right there. Who's that? Them blues. 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 Them all right. <clears throat> what that girl, what's girl, what's your name? You said you wanted me to read my poetry. Calling my bluff all on this on on na on, on national uh YouTube. You ready? Let me sip my wine. Wet my whistle, you gotta bear with a nigga. Ah. All right, this piece right here is called Invisible Ink by Lazy Bone. Invisible ink is like hollow words spelled out literally with no meaning or no emphasis. Letters thrown together on a blank canvas that form only incomplete sentences. It's hope intangible, faith transparent. Naked to the eye, trickery and elusive. Thoughts manifested, concocted solutions only to be deemed inconclusive. It's history twisted and manipulated to the point that nobody knows who they are anymore. The blind leading the blind for so many years makes you wonder how many more? How many more lies, wars, recessions can this country take? What comes up must go down and eventually dynasties break. The truth is in the Bible. Seek it sometimes, read it and think, because it's the only publication out there that's not Invisible Ink. Invisible Ink. Mom doing poetry, you got ice and shit going, you something else. I don't know. Look, they still serving us all the injustices. I say, how many more lies, wars, recessions can this country take? What comes up must go down and eventually dynasties break. Yeah. Did y'all get the gist of that? I don't see no fires or nothing. That's a thug, true heroes under God's soul. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate that love right there. I got a few more, but some of my poems so good, so goddamn long. I'ma read it again, cause I don't think y'all heard me. 
want me to read that shit again? Yeah. All right, this is a piece of poetry. Y'all can just snatch this and put it wherever y'all want, but it's going to be in my book. The book is called Ancient Vehicle. Invisible ink. Invisible ink is like hollow words spelled out literally with no meaning or emphasis. Letters thrown together on a blank canvas that only form only incomplete sentences. It's hope intangible, faith transparent, naked to the eye, trickery and elusive. Thoughts manifested, concocted solutions only to be deemed inconclusive. It's history twisted and manipulated to the point that nobody knows who they are anymore. The blind leading the blind for so many years makes you wonder how many more? How many more lives, wars, recessions can this country take? What comes up must go down and as they say, eventually dynasties break. The truth is in the Bible. Seek it sometimes, read it and think because it's the only publication out there that's not in invisible ink. Invisible ink. I got a book full of those motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, man, so uh, on that level, I'm tired, boss, man. Fuck that, it's time to turn up. I'm glad y'all appreciated that. So that's what we looking to get into. You know what I'm saying? Putting out different publications. Building our own Sony. Our own capital. And with y'all help, I can get there. So if y'all want to be foot soldiers until we can all get rich around this motherfucker, spread the word. Let them know my shit coming out July 3rd, man. Spread the word. Let them know it's coming out July 3rd. You heard? You heard? Mm-hmm. Until, uh... Next time, y'all check that video out. Don't forget, I shot that shit with my uh, with my iPhone, and um, Slick Nick was the uh, DP, the director of photography. You know what I mean? She actually, she actually did most of the camera work for us. So we all moving into new professions and new um, arenas and new ideas and transitioning into new life. Don't get stuck where y'all at. Keep on motherfucking going. You heard? Watch that video again, man. July 3rd, I'ma holla at y'all tomorrow. All right, I'm gone.